Hey folks, welcome to B5 Bricks, hope you're all well. In today's video, it's just a short update on the micro Gotham City, and I'm going to show you the beginnings of the industrial area and Dixon Docks. Part of what I've included in this is Axis Chemicals, which is where the Joker falls into a vat of toxic waste. And I've not based this on anything in particular, it's really just my own representation. But I have given it quite a long street into the main complex, and that's kind of like it is in the 89 Batman film. This collection of buildings are meant to be gas storage tanks, and this is also connected to Axis Chemicals, and it'll be right next to Gotham River when it's ready. And lastly, I have a very simple and early version of a shipping terminal for the Dixon Docks. This doesn't have any water on it yet, as that'll come much later, as I'm still waiting on a big order of translucent tiles. Oh, and if you haven't subscribed, then do it now so you don't miss any future videos. So here's a closer look at Axis Chemicals, and this is on a 16x16 16 16 base plate. There are the long storage sheds, there's smaller chemical storage tanks, and there's the rather comical red exhaust towers with smoke billowing out. And I've used a few random printed bricks in here, and there's also a Nexo Knight's shield, which I just wanted to find a use for. I've got loads of these, and it's not really noticeable, but it gives a nice glow with a transparent orange. I think once it's all in place in the city, it'll really add to the feel of Gotham being a close and claustrophobic place with every inch of land used. I quite like the way this looks from above. There's a nice variation in colour and height, and it looks quite realistic to me. Here's the gas storage facility, and I'm really, really happy with this. I just think it looks really cool. I actually used all the parts from a LEGO City lighthouse to make the tanks, and they look just perfect. I really enjoy doing all the greebling on the buildings which will be down next to the river and it looks really cool. I've also added a blue and white truck at the back which is cute and over time I'll add a few vehicles about the city here and there. Lastly, it's a wee section of Dixon Docks which is the main dock area on the west of the city. Now this looks a bit pants without water and in fact the black base plate is a wee bit dirty too, sorry. But it will be covered in tile soon so it doesn't really matter. I'm not sure if I've quite got the scale right here yet, but I wanted to make a small container ship and a coaster, and there's a very rudimentary crane and a small dock area, but this will soon be all connected to a much larger dock area, and this will run all along the west side of the main island. There is a lot to do with the city, but it's all coming together pretty well, and having made a start on these industrial areas is really helpful for me to judge the scale of the city overall. Hey, so thanks for watching, and if you want to see more videos like this, my simple mocks and money-saving tips, then subscribe and check out one of my other videos here too if you like, and I'll catch you next time. Bye!